World War I began on July 28, 1914 and ended on November 11, 1918. Referred to by contemporaries as the Great War, its belligerents included much of Europe, the Russian Empire, the United States, and the Ottoman Empire, the German Empire. The fighting also expanded into the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Asia. One of the deadliest conflicts in history, an estimated 9 million people were killed in combat, while over 5 million civilians died from military occupation, bombardment, hunger, and disease. However, a lesser known story, a supernatural tale of horror, was also killing troops. During the battle around the area of Mons, Belgium, part of the 1914 Battle of the Frontiers, a strange and frightening specter haunted the region of no man's land between the German and British trenches, something that seemed as incredible as it was horrific. Were these just stories circulated as rumors, or was there some truth to them? Was there an animal or beast that actually attacked and killed soldiers? Was it a single creature, or simply packs of wild dogs driven mad by war and hunger, or was it in fact something evil? Hello, I'm Colin Heaton, former soldier, Marine Corps scout sniper, history professor, historian and book author, and we will answer these questions and other issues on this segment of Forgotten History. After Great Britain declared war on Germany and Austria-Hungary on August 4, 1914, the British Expeditionary Force, commanded by Field Marshal John French, landed in France. General Alexander von Kluck was the commander of the German First Army tasked with penetrating into northern France. The British pushed to the front to stop the German invasion into France, only to be halted and pushed back by the superior enemy force. Thus was the beginning of trench warfare and the defensive British bastion of Mons, which stopped the Germans from moving west. Mons was part of the Flemish Bergen municipality, a Walloon region in southwestern Belgium between Trouville and Hain rivers, strategically poised at the junction of the Nimi Blaton Canal and the Canal du Centre. Mons became typical of the stalemate trench warfare style synonymous with the war on the Western Front, especially after the First Battle of the Marne from September 6th to 9th which halted the Germans 13 miles from Paris. But after the lines had been drawn and a tenuous calm descended, both sides caught their breath, but not for long. Dealing with all the terrors of landmines, costly trench attacks, machine guns firing, artillery barrages, and later the introduction of poison gas, a new terror had emerged. Among the deep cratered shell holes and decaying corpses of both men and beasts, and the twisted barbed wire, soldiers reported seeing shadows, an animal of some kind moving fast, before screams of men being attacked were heard. Some soldiers actually reported seeing a large wolf-like creature, only glimpsed in the glow of an overhead flare or in the light an artillery shell illuminated the dark sky. These shadowy specters moved quickly among the corpses or attacked men returning from patrols. Sentries on guard duty, British, French, Belgian and German all reported seeing these large beasts, almost always at night, darting back and forth as if hunting. Gunshots would be heard, screams of men, and then later the torn bodies of soldiers, friend and foe alike, would be found. Both the German and British soldiers heard the mournful howl of a wolf, sometimes what seemed to be more than one. Rumors then spread among the British and Commonwealth troops that the beast was a hybrid animal created by the Germans and trained to attack them. This rumor was spurious, but it was documented that the wild dogs were a danger, and wounded men or those alone or in small units were vulnerable, even with loaded rifles. There was also the possibility that wolves, not very common, and the last recorded wolf was seen around 1912, but possibly still inhabited the forests that were not destroyed and roamed the countryside. One explanation may be a breed of dog called the Grunendale or Belgian Shepherd, which was a fairly common breed, and a new breed of working dog, which was a derivative of the Wolf Shepherd and other working breeds. In fact, the Belgian army used them as rescue and messenger dogs, and the possibility that some became separated from their handlers, who may have been killed or captured, and gone wild, seems likely. It is also possible that the seldom seen wolves bred with these dogs, creating an even larger and more aggressive and intelligent hybrid, and being feral, would have had no problem taking down a healthy grown man. 
Canadian war veteran F.G. Newhouse first published his incredible story about this phenomenon in 1919. He reported such as the German experiments conducted by a Dr. Gottlieb Hochmuller to introduce these animals as weapons, following the transplanting of the brain of an insane mental patient into the head of a large Siberian wolfhound. He also gave detailed accounts of a Captain Yeskes and his patrol being found mauled to death after failing to return from a patrol. But no records have verified this event, nor the existence of any Dr. Hochmuller. However, many of his claims have been refuted and can be dismissed by the scientific community. What is not refuted is the fact that soldiers were mauled to death, but they could have been killed in combat and simply fed upon as a matter of circumstance. Given the thousands of dead soldiers from both sides littering no man's land and very little means to retrieve even the wounded, the so-called hellhound or hounds would have fed well. British and Allied veterans spoke little of these events, although some Germans did. One luminary German, the famous author and one of the most decorated World War I veterans, Captain Ernst Jünger, had his opinion. Jünger fought from the first day of the war to the end of the war and was awarded the Iron Cross in both classes, the Wounded Badge in Gold for Seven Wounds, the Pour le Merite, also called the Blue Max, and the Order of Hohenzollern Medals for Bravery. He said this, quote, These stories were probably true to some degree. We have our legends of the devil dogs, known as Teufelhunde, that roamed the forests, and many believed that, that was what these were, rather than spirits. That is laughable. Ironically, due to their tenacity in battle, that was the name we gave the American Marines in 1917, Teufelhunde, or devil dogs, end quote. So what was the monster of Mon? Wild dogs, wolves, an evil apparition, or just the hallucinations of exhausted and tortured minds of warrior soldiers? Perhaps we may never know for sure. We hope you enjoyed this segment of Forgotten History. Please click like and subscribe for free. And please stay tuned and be engaged and informed. Send us comments if you have questions or even show ideas. And we will respond to all requests and comments as soon as we can. Thank you.